Questions 7 and 8 relate to Rashi's commentary to Bamidbar 3.9. The text states that Venatata et Halavim la Aaron Levanav. Moshe was to give, to designate the Levim to Aaron and his descendants, namely the Kahuna. Nutunim Nutunim Him Allah, they, the Levim, are to be given to him. May eight Bene Israel from the Bene Israel. Over and above the difficulties with this Pasuk that have been raised earlier, there are two anomalies with Rashi's commentary to this Pasuk. Rashi appears to be addressing the superfluous middle phrase where the text could have written Venatata et halavim la Aaron levanav Nutumim be'eit b'nei Yisrael and to which Rashi under the heading of Nutunim Himala writes Le'ezra to be of assistance. In other words, Shevet Levi was to assist the Kohanim in their duties. In the build-up to question 7, we will return to Pasuk 6, in which Moshe is told to assemble the Shevet Levi before Aaron HaKohen v'shevetu oto. Rashi's commentary to this phrase is that v'halavim halalu, m'sayinin otam, these Levim, Shevet Levi, would assist them, the Kohanim, and zuhi hashevrut, this is the function, of Shevet Levi with respect to the Kahuna. One of the many rules that Rashi applies to the commentary Rashi is that he does not repeat information that had previously been established. And accordingly, one could ask what was the purpose, the intent, in the one-word commentary to the phrase Netunim Hema Lot, Ezra, to assist him, referring to the Kahuna, if this fact had been established in his commentary to Pasuk Vav. There is an alternative reading suggested by the Mizrahi that can be used to respond to this difficulty, an option that the Rebbe rejects in footnote number 8, which we will come to shortly. Question 8 is based upon another of the Rebbe's rules with respect to the commentary of Rashi, and that is headings must match the commentary. In this case, it would appear that the word Le'ezra is a commentary to the word law in the phrase Netunim Hema Law. Law, referring to Aharon and the Kuhuna. If that be the case, the words Netumim Hema have no bearing on the commentary to the word law, and as such, one can ask, why has Rashi included these two words into the heading? The word Le'ezra is linked to the Ayin Zayin Resh Shoresh, a verb that suggests help, assisting, providing aid, that Le'ezra, the Levi, was to provide assistance to the Kohen. The Mizrahi offers a different reading to Rashi's commentary, one in which there is a change in the voweling from Le'ezra to Le'azara, the Azara referring to the Mishkan. And while this approach would be a response to the repetition question raised earlier, this approach is rejected by the Rebbe in a footnote on two counts. In the words of the footnote, Ve'ein lomar, it is not possible to suggest shahapirush l'dvarim hanaasim ba'azara that with the words la'azara, Rashi is referring to the requirement that Bnei Levi should provide assistance to the Kohanim in their duties with respect to the Mishkan. Ve'kavanata lishlol avodat chol, and the intent of Rashi would be to limit this assistance to the azara but not require the Levim to attend to the personal needs of the Kohanim, this approach is ve'en lomar, not acceptable. Firstly, that if Rashi's intent was to emphasize that the responsibilities of the Levim were limited to duties relating to the Mishkan, then the wording la'azara is somewhat problematic in that he should have retained the terminology that he had used in an earlier commentary, with respect to the role of the Shevet Levi under the title Vet Mishmeret B'nei Yisrael in Pasuk Chet Shekulon Hayu Zekukim Letzarkei HaMikdash The use of the word Mikdash to describe the Mishkan rather than the word Azara In the words of the footnote Lamashina Rashi Why does Rashi make a change? Lichtov Azara to present in his commentary if it refers to the Mishka where he uses the word Azara rather than use the normal terminology used in referring to the Mishkan namely the Mikdash Obifrat. this question becomes more pronounced in his commentary to the Pasuk immediately preceding Pasuk Tet namely Pasuk Chet Katav Letzarchi HaMikdash when referring to the Mishkan Secondly, there's a degree of jaggedness with Rashi's one-word commentary, in that 
Rather than simply writing the word Le'azara, Rashi at the very least should have added one more word, Le'tzarche Ha'azara, as he does in the commentary referred to earlier, Shekulon Hayu Zekukin Le'tzarche Ha'mikdash, for the need of the Mikdash. And on this basis, the Rebbe rejects the suggestion of the Mizrahi that the voweling for Rashi's commentary should be Le Azara, leaving us with question 7, the repetitiveness of the commentary, and question 8, the mismatch between the heading and the commentary.